After the description of the ark came that of the mercy seat. It was to be of pure gold. Again, it pictures Christ's deity, his kingship, purity, and moral perfection. It was to be the same size as the ark because it was to be that which encloses it. The mercy seat is the spot where the blood was to be applied and it is the spot where God would meet with man. In the Greek translation of the Old Testament, the mercy seat is called the, I asked you to remember this word, nobody, okay, it's called the hilasterion, all right? The word means a sin offering. It is that by which the wrath of God would be appeased and thus it is a propitiation. And this is exactly how Isaiah describes the coming Christ with these words. Yet it pleased the Lord to bruise him. He has put him to grief when you make his soul an offering for sin. Paul picked up on this in the New Testament and uses the same word, hilasterion, to describe the finished work of Christ. He says, for there is no difference for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God, being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus, whom God set forth as a hilasterion, a propitiation by his blood through faith to demonstrate his righteousness, because in his forbearance, God had passed over the sins that were previously committed to demonstrate at the present time his righteousness, that he might be just and the justifier of the one who has faith in Jesus. As the mercy seat sat on the crown molding, the propitiation for the sins of the people at the cross of Calvary is to be considered the crowning achievement of the work of Christ. The period...